This is James Hill on the Fire TV in association with Matt Clinton. My bad with me, I've got Cal Your Fire. We're at the press conference today in Birmingham for the March 5th card. What's happening, Cal? You all right? I'm good, man. Best good. or last? Good. I've got to say, we, we, <laughs> we nearly lost Cal then. Thanks for him to waiting about. I thought Krugan was going to get him. He thought I was going to get him. And we just it's, tried to avoid it's not, it. It's not hard to lose me, is it? I'm not big. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's harder to lose Gamal. It's like, you can always see Gamal. You can see him screw facing around from yeah, anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> What's happening? Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good, you? I'm all right, yeah, I'm all right. That's just, good, man. Just a good to be back, really. Good to be back working the Christmas break and everything else, but yeah, enough yeah. about me. How are you? I'm very good, man. I'm very good. Good, good. Current British champion, and you're holding the IBF Intercontinental, is that yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will you be defending the IBF Intercontinental on this? No, this is the WBI Eliminator. Okay, okay. How much do you know about your opponent? Another Nicaraguan for you to Another fight? Nicaraguan, the fifth Nicaraguan. Um, should be called the Nicaraguan Slayer, really, should not because I, I, I'm slaying, I'm slaying these Nicaraguans for fun. Do you, just, <laughs> but, do you just specialise in Nicaraguans? Yeah, I, you know what? I need to have a word of Eddie. I've told Eddie. I've already told Eddie. Yes, you're fine. <laughs> They're all brutally tough as well. I've told Eddie. Yeah, this is the last Nicaraguan on a fight. Lemon Fanta. <laughs> Lemon Fanta. You wouldn't know what that means. But um, I was going to say, yeah, them Nicaraguans are tough. I've had some ones that, you know, that I've had. I've you never know what you're going to get yeah, with you, them, you, That's what I mean. Like you, you see some videos on them and some of them are really tough and they look really tough and then you, you bring them over and then you demolish them in a round. So you don't, um, you don't know what to expect sometimes. And I've fought some really tough ones as well. Mm. But yeah, another Nicaraguan. Uh, Flores. Dixon Flores, yeah. He's, um, he's 21, young. Seems ga very game. Um, he boxed Carlos Kudras, who's 36 and now, WBC champion. Mm got beat by him and then he just beat someone he just knocked someone out in two rounds at 16 and 0 so um, he's a dangerous opponent then isn't he yeah he looks it uh, you're going to say this and you're going to knock him out in a round don't you probably yeah <laughs> <laughs> nah um, he's, he's he's very game early on he looks game uh, looks very look, looks pretty quick early on and wings him in so um, yeah my job is just to be to be on the ball from the word go yeah. and uh, break him down I'm always a bit dubious of these Nicaraguans because when they come from nothing and they've got nothing, they're usually more determined to get something. Yeah, of course. So they're always hungry, tough, awkward guys. Aren't I, boxed, they? I boxed one in Sheffield on the on the Brook Undercard last year, and he was like, <laughs> he just he was in my face all night, and he wouldn't, he just wouldn't leave me alone. Yeah. And uh, he was really tough and game, and he had a world ranking as well. And I thought to myself, I thought this was meant to be a warm-up fight. <laughs> um, done my hands in, and it was it was a proper nightmare, but got through it. Got the win, and um, that that kid um, when they, when they brought another one over for me, um, they said that kid had bought, bought built a brick wall in front of his mum's house with the money, built a front gates, paid for his daughter's uh, tuition for for a year, and I was thinking, bloody, how much did he get? He probably got more than me. But um, <laughs> it's brilliant, though, isn't it? To yeah, see yeah, yeah, do yeah, like yeah. That. Of course, they come over and they come and give it their all. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm expecting this from this kid. Uh, I'm expecting him to come give me a hard night's work. I'm pre I'll be prepared, pre pre prepared for 12 rounds, and um, yeah, we'll see we'll see how he goes and see what he's got in his arsenal. What do you make of Eddie saying potentially two or three fights away from a world title shot? Do you feel you're ready? Do you feel yeah, as, do you feel comfortable? You can take that in your stride. Yeah. Um, well, we, you know, we talked and that the plan is basically get this do do a, do a number on this guy and then uh, bring the WBA champion over um, in the summer and you know finally get my world title shot. Is that Kono? Yeah, Kohei Kono, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I watched his last fight. I watched his last fight the night before I boxed in October and, uh, against Cunningham. And um, he boxed um, kind of com Comedia. So um, he'd he done a job on him. Um, but I've seen, I seen chinks there and I've seen things that I can expose. So, mm -hmm. um, But I'm fully, fully, fully on it for this, for, for this kid. Get, Gotta get this kid out of the way first. That's right. You can't overlook. No, no, overlook no. I never do. I never do. Up. So I'll do a job on this kid and then um, and then deal with him afterwards. Hopefully. Do you know what I really like? The way Eddie describes you as the fight in your fires. <laughs> it's like made you into like a little circus act. Too. It's like <laughs> the fight in your fires. <laughs> well, it's you know what? You've just given me an idea of something I can do when I retire. Or if, yeah. the, if, the, if this boxing game fucks up. Open up then, a circus. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> open up a circus and then make some money there. The spark of out like old school boxing booth. It'd be fine. Yeah, it'd be alright. I reckon we'd do alright. It's a good description though, isn't it? It's sort of 
it's like, and when, I, when, I, when he said it, I looked around, he's like, you two sitting there, you're both like the same height, you know what I mean? You're just sitting there in your little corner. I, yeah, I, don't, I don't think you're like the same, the same height, but... <laughs> yeah, but do you know what I mean? It's like, I can understand why he says that. It's like, it's a good sort of selling game. Yeah, it is. But the, the thing is with us, we're both, it's like chalk and cheese, really, and it, yeah. it's like, it's more of the quiet one, it's more like... Like you said, his screwed face and he's like... Always look, looks like he's got the arm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> always. He, he's, he's, you, think, you know what it is? It's always as if... Every time you see him standing around, it's as if he's in a moody club, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. If he's like waiting yeah, for it to yeah. kick off. Birmingham Carnival, he's that's ready what to go <laughs> in. He's at Birmingham Carnival 24-7, isn't he? Uh, that's what it's like. And then, you know, there's me. I'm just a bit more, a bit more uh, chilled out. A bit more chilled, yeah. Yeah, but... Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, listen, you're both really likeable lads, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we're, all go we're, we're going in the right direction and... Um, we're looking forward to March fifth. Um, he becomes Commonwealth champion. Um, I think it's. I think you know. I think it's a great opportunity for him. It become like. I think it'd be like um, a breakout performance for him. Yeah. Bobby um, Jenkinson's a bit underrated. Though, yeah, isn't yeah, he? yeah. I think yeah. Louis Petit sort of paid paid the price for yeah, of sort course. of taking him a bit lightly, if you like. Yeah, of course. But um, I, I, re I really do. I'm not saying it because my brother, but I really do fancy him to um, to really do a job on him. Yeah. And um, and I really fancy. I really look forward to knocking someone out on March fifth. <laughs> Listen, so, yeah. I'm looking forward to March 5th. It's, it's going to be good. I've not been to Birmingham to watch a car before, so I'm quite excited. Oh, yeah, no, yeah? No, I ain't, no. Oh, you watch, I thought you were coming to the, the last one, but you come to my one in, in Leeds, innit? In Leeds, yeah. Yeah, 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 Leeds, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It'd, be, it'd be a good night, man. It'd be a good night. Right, on that note, thank you for coming to iPhone TV. It's no great worries. to get you on the channel, okay? Thanks. I'll catch you again real soon. Definitely, man.